So sometimes I think the very thing that we're searching for specifically is searching for us as well. Imagine it this way, two poles on a magnet. This is the North Pole. This is the South Pole. When these two poles get anywhere within reach of each other, what happens? It's the, the when they actually connect, the bind or the bond is so powerful and like frenetic almost, like magnets. They have this indescribable pull for each other. And I really do believe, and I'm curious what you think, that the thing that you're searching for is also searching for you, just like a magnet. Be it a relationship, the job, better health, life purpose, clarity. What is it that you're truly searching for and where can we find confirmation that that thing is also searching for you too? Okay, I want to provide an example and then I'm going to share a couple things that you can try out so that you can start getting closer to this magnet thing, this thing. So if you're searching for this, this thing is also searching for you. And how do you start to, you know, close the gap? Yes, I'm back in the truck. My house is a mess. We were having some demo work, remodel work. So if you take a look at this comment that you're going to see, I underline this woman's sentence. But so the video was about intuition, accessing your intuition. How do you actually get in touch with your inner child and have a conversation with that? And so this woman left a comment and said, I have been seeking for 20 some odd years the answer to this question. And so you can't see my reply. But what I replied back to her is, for as long as you've been searching for an answer to this question, I have been preparing myself to be able to teach this and to offer this as your solution. Poles of a magnet. So here's what I think. I think it actually can be quite simple. I think. We're going to try this out. So, so something that you can do to start to bring the opposite pole closer to you is to more specifically clarify what it is that you're seeking. Now, here's what can be a little tricky about that. Humans have certain kinds of programming, motivational programming. There's move away from, and then there's move towards. I am someone move away from, meaning I have an easier time knowing what I don't want, what doesn't feel good. I used to complain a bunch. So my my motivational tendencies, I move away from things that I don't like, things that are not working. And so it's almost like I have to spend a little more time getting really clear and specific with what it is I actually do want. So depending on which of those you might share, if you're move away from, you might need an extra step crafting the thing that you're seeking just so that you're more clear with the thing that you want and that this magnet, you'll have an easier time connecting with that thing. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. So if you're tendency like you know what you don't want cool maybe spend a few minutes clarifying what it is that you do actually want so i have a couple questions for you number one actually i'll scooch over so you can see them here what would you like question number two what will having that do for you so when you get this thing what will having that do for you and then when you get that what will having that do for you how will you know specifically when you've got this thing. So the thing that you've been searching for, how, how will you know that it has arrived? What are the specific markers that are going to clue you into the fact that, that this is happening? It's here. It's for you. I think sometimes we, we can overcomplicate things. I think also that it's, for some of us, it's easier to know what you don't want. I'm one of those. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just how the brain processes information. And it's just a motivational direction. There's there's no right or wrong. But if you know what you don't want, you're going to maybe want to figure out what you do want. Now, here's what can be tricky. In this idea of what you are seeking is also seeking you, we don't control that timeline. I am sorry. I am not the kind of person who loves to teach this, like, manifest anything you want when you want it straight away right now. Like, screw time. I don't, I just, it's not realistic. So I wonder how it would be if we just practice suspending this thing needing to show up right here, right now when we want it and just let life find us. Like let this polar opposite, this end of the magnet, like if we're, if we're clear with what we want specifically, we know what we want, we know how we want to feel, you know, this whole thing, and we just, we just kind of suspend time, what will happen with this thing, how this thing can work in its own accord 
and start to just move towards us. Now here's the more scientific piece to this. There's a term called reticular activating system. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it, but it's RAS for short. And the simplest definition is that we live in a mirrored universe. Let me give you a simple example. What you seek is seeking you. You want a new car. Let's imagine you want some white Fiat. It's just this white car and you've always wanted it. You probably notice that when you drive around, your eye catches all of the white Fiat. You're aware of it. You see it, you know, you see it at the market. You see it driving down the freeway. Your brain notices it. Or if you're a woman, maybe you want to be pregnant and you just, you notice pregnant women all the time in the bank, at the market. Your brain tracks for and searches for the thing that it's already seeking. The reticular activating system, what you seek is also seeking you. And so I think to wrap this video up and bring it all together, the thing that you are seeking is also seeking you, just like the poles on a magnet. I can't tell you how many times I feel into a video, like what should I make a video about to help you all, to help the people here on YouTube. I make the video just based on feeling and how many comments or likes, specifically comments saying, Ash, this is exactly what I needed. How did the algorithm know? This is crazy. What a synchronicity. So the problems that I'm wanting to help solve, I imagine there are plenty of you out there who are looking for the solution to that problem. So that's an example. It's super powerful. I think the more that we can relax on the timeline thing, like I need it right now. I need to have this thing. I want to manifest everything I want right here, right now. Screw this timeline. Give me what I want. I think the more that we can step out of that impulse, this needy impulse thing, we get to Again, this is this is more of just a personal opinion. It's like we get to take up the piece of what it is we are actually seeking. And that's the clarity piece. What do you want? What will having that do for you? How will you know when you have it? And just simmer in the desire. Simmer in the desire of the thing that you really want. And almost like, I wonder how it would be if there was just this practice of like a hands-off approach. Like, you know what? I'm going to do this magnetic thing over here and I'm just going to... I'm just going to clarify what I want, how I want to feel, why is this going to be good for me, how is it going to help other people, and you just be this magnet and let this thing, which is the opposite force that is, I think this is the divinely orchestrated piece, just let it come find you. It will happen. Actually, let's just, let me just ask you, when in your life have you had this experience where you were clear on something that you really wanted and maybe you forgot about it and then lo and behold, that thing showed up and the magnets connected. So try it out for yourself. I'm curious what you think. So in closing, this is Ash. I know there's a human on the other side. I hope you're doing well. The world is kind of crazy. So maybe a little check-in. How's it going? Are you doing all right? Glad you're here. I mean that very sincerely. Oh, next week, I'm going to be offering a free masterclass with me, totally free, 45 minutes, where I'm going to share with you 18 odd, very strange signs that you're actually on the right path and that you're doing it right, it being life. So if you would like to join me, please sign up for the newsletter. You'll get an invitation to register there. I think... Here's what I think, that the masterclass and the 18 signs can absolutely change your life and help you shift from I'm so lost and so stuck and I have no idea what I'm doing and flip it into, and just based on what I'm going to share with you, kind of confirmation that you're actually nailing it. You're totally doing it right. So please sign up for the newsletter. It's on the website. I will pop that link down below. I'm curious what you think about this. And I look forward to hearing how the opposite, the thing that you are seeking is also seeking you. I look forward to hearing how this will be true for you. Okay, that's what I got. Goodbye. It's Ash. It's freezing. Goodbye.